So I got my new Traxxas threads on, and that means it's time for the RC Driver unboxing of the Traxxas TRX4. How's it going everybody? Greg here, and I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to do this unbox our TRX4. Gave you guys a little bit of a sneak peek when I did our shop tour a little while back. And I've seen a bunch of comments coming through and some other videos saying, when are you got to dig into that Traxxas TRX4? Well, today is the day. Actually, that's not true. Uh, a couple of days ago, I'd say about a week ago, I did an unboxing video of this. Went over to the computer and the audio was horrible. So I'm back at it again. So this makes the fourth time I've unboxed this truck. I did it in that shop tour. I did it on rcdriver.com screwed up a week ago and finally this is the real deal right here so without any more delays let's dig into this box actually i'm going to start on the outside of the box because traxxas did a really good job on this box i do love the way this box looks right off the bat here you get a, a view of the great truck that's available from traxxas and right here you see the land rover emblem that means this is a licensed body they have the full licensing for it so that is really cool to see and then you know we get a little bit more detail here we get a detail of the portal axles that is a key feature on this truck that people are really loving. Now, let me do a little flip here, and this is the, the support accessory side. So this is what comes with the kit, and this down here is what you're gonna need with the kit. So what comes with the kit is you get the TQI radio here with the link system already installed. You get an XL5 speed controller already installed in the truck. And just so you know, this isn't your average XL5 speed controller. There's some tweaks done to it. We're gonna talk about that later. Got a Titan motor in here. We get some, you know, generic tools that always comes with the Traxxas kit, some L wrenches and, or Allen wrenches, and then the, a box wrench. And of course you get a manual with it as well. Now down here, this is the stuff that you guys are gonna need to pick up. So if you don't have a battery pack, a Traxxas battery pack, you're gonna have to pick up a pack. Uh, Traxxas offers a number of different types of packs. They've got nickel metal packs, they've got lipo packs. You get two S packs, three X packs, three S packs. Uh, and so, you can also get the charger with it as well because they do have the ID plug on here. So to make life easy, you might want to get all the Traxxas stuff. Traxxas charger, Traxxas battery, and it'll all have the ID system on there. And over here on the front side of the box, I guess this is another front side of the box. Yeah, why not? This is the truck in the red version, and uh, that is what we got. I'm so excited to get the red truck. Definitely loving the look of that one in particular. And then again, we got a, a little bit of a portal axle. Uh, detail right there and over here on the last side of uh, the large faces we have some of the big details that are in the kit and I'm probably just going to go over all that stuff over on the workbench so I'm not going to go through it all right here and then just one other thing for me to point out to you guys when you do head over to the hobby shop because you got to get one of these things just double check these dots over here. Make sure that white dot is stuck in the box of the color body that you want, very key. Now let's just dive right into this box so you can see what you get when you bring this kit home. All right, first thing that pops out here, we've got the Traxxas TQI radio system here. And uh, this radio system has a lot to offer and uh, it's really grown on me over the years. I really like the feel of it now. I like what it does. You can link all of your Traxxas models to this one radio. I think it's up to 35, so something like that, but you can link a lot of Traxxas models to one radio, and every time you turn the radio on in that specific Traxxas car, it will link up and it'll know what the settings are, so that's really cool. But this right here, it's all set up for the TRX4, and uh, as you can see, we've got a lever down here, and this is uh, the operation a control for the high and low speed and then up top here we have a switch for the diff locking and then we have some other function control knobs here some set buttons again really like this radio and then of course we've got the typical Traxxas styrofoam packaging to keep your vehicle safe during transport and then here it is the machine itself the TRX4 and as you can see it's really well packaged uh, we just got some more styrofoam on the other end there and here it is, it's uh, in a plastic baggie. I'll get to it in a second. Let's see what's in this bag right here before we move on. And we have an extra body mount. So this body mount is a lower body mount than what's in the back of that one. So don't throw this piece away if you ever go and install an aftermarket body on the rig. You're gonna need this piece right here. Got a little bag of body clips. You're gonna need those because there's only two holding the body on in the truck. So you get Four in here, so that means there's two extras. 
And then we've got the little bag of tools. We get the Allen wrenches there and the box wrench. Got Traxxas decals. If you're a huge Traxxas fan, you got to rock the decals on your rig. And then over here, we've got, what is this? This is the warranty registration. Might want to hold on to that if you think uh, you're ever going to need it. I don't think I'm going to need that. And then this is a little card that comes on the XL5 speed controller inside uh, under the body. I actually took this off in one of the prior unboxings, but this is a little sheet right here that gives you tips on the XL5 speed controller. And then we have the manual right here and we have some additional information in this guide uh, there as well. So if you're new to RC, you definitely want to read through all this. Even if you are an RC guy, you're going to want to read through that. Just make sure you know all the ins and outs of the vehicle. All right, now let's get to the vehicle itself, the TRX-4. So as you can see, uh, like I've mentioned before, it comes in a plastic bag. Traxxas wants to make sure that you get this thing in pristine condition. So you're the one doing the scratching and damaging on it versus, you know, it getting tossed around in shipping. So two body clips fold on the body and then the rear is actually kind of clipped into the bumper. We'll talk about that later. Pull that bag off and you got this cool looking Land Rover Defender body right here. How cool is that? Definitely loving the red color on this. And this is what I also like here. This is the extra mile right here. Traxxas went ahead, put a little bit of plastic film on the front of it just to make sure that the front is protected, doesn't get scratched up. So here, the truck the truck looks really good with the body on. Let me just throw it on real quick so you can see what it looks like. I'm sure you've seen it, been stalking this thing on the internet. Uh, so there it is, it looks awesome. And there is a lot of detail on this. I'm gonna go over that detail in a second. So what are we waiting for? Let's head over to the workbench and I'm gonna go through this truck, tell you about all of its features and maybe there'll be a few that you don't even know about. Let's start off checking out the body and some of its amazing details. Again, this is a Land Rover Defender body here, a licensed Land Rover Defender body. So let's start up front here. We've got a really wide front bumper here. It's got some tow hooks on there. These are plastic tow hooks. And uh, as you can see right here, it's got this faux winch here with a faux fair lead. And uh, right here, we've got a, a bull bar just uh, molded into the front bumper so that's got a really cool look to it and then right behind the bumper here we've got this really nice grill setup so this is a separate piece from the lexan body uh, and as you can see it even has the little land rover emblem right there and then these headlights are really cool looking so we've got a screw in uh, headlight bezel here and then uh, inside you can see there's a decal inside uh, to give it that uh, that you know mirror finish uh, that chrome uh, reflection finish in there which is really cool to see and these are ready for led light so i'm sure traxxas will have an led light kit for it that'll really brighten that uh, headlight up look really good moving over to the side we have these bolt-on fender flares and as you can see they're made of like a rubbery material then over here we have this plastic snorkel bolted on from the factory and then right behind that we've got some mirrors we've got mirrors on both sides here and uh, what's really nice to see is the decal is already applied. So you can see Traxxas went pretty far with the details here. Down here, we've got this rock slider here that's actually part of the chassis. We'll talk about that later. Up top here, we've got the, the cage. We've got the XO cage here with the roof rack on it and the front wind deflector here. They really went all out and uh, really created a nice looking uh, cage and roof rack for this vehicle. Now let's take a look at the back. We've got a little faux gas cap uh, decal right there. Now moving on to the back here, we've got a lot more detail going on. So we've got a full size spare tire on the back here. Yes, you can remove this and replace it with one of the other wheels. And then we have, of course, a faux jack. We've got the tail lights. Uh, we even have some decals down uh, hiding behind the jack in there. So they didn't miss any details. Uh, again, here's uh, a better look at those, those tail lights. Of course, we've got the jerry cans bolted to the back. And then here's the back bumper with uh, some more tow hook. Got a little box out here for the trailer hitch if you want to go and rig one of those up. But as you can see, it's got a great look to it. The body looks awesome on this thing. Now my only complaint with the body, there's only one thing I really have a problem with and that is the black sticker uh, windows here. So it would be really cool since it's such a scale kit if the windows were clear, um, you know, you could go and possibly create an interior for it later on down the road and having the clear uh, windows would have been pretty awesome, uh, but I know Traxxas will probably have this body in clear, so we'll just have to go and paint one up later uh, if you're going to stick with this body. It is definitely a great looking body. All right, enough of the outside. Let's check out the inside. 
by inside, I mean the inside of the body. So here are the inner fender wells, and that is really awesome to see. Uh, it does add a little bit of weight to the vehicle, but uh, you know it's got that great look to it. And they're all tied together, as you can see here, so the body is nice and sturdy. Uh, but here's something I want to talk about right here, and that's these pins in the back, which is just a really awesome idea from Traxxas. So what these pins do is these pins go and they lock into the bumper here. You can see those pinholes there. So what happens is, is when you mount the body, the body locks into the rear bumper and it gives the body a nice solid feel so it doesn't rattle around as you're driving. Um, I've seen so many scale vehicles out there and they look awesome, but as they go down the trail, they're rattling away and that's just not, that's actually not very scale. So that's really cool that Traxxas has this pin locator system in there to help keep the body stable. Now we get to take a look at the Traxxas TRX4 itself. And uh, the design is just awesome on this thing. I think they did a great job with it. Uh, where should we start? Of course, we should start with the front. Why not? All right, so here's one of those details. I'm hoping that uh, maybe you didn't pick up elsewhere, but uh, a Traxxas representative told me. And so we've got the front bumper mount here, and we've got this cross member here for the front bumper mount. Now, what Traxxas did is they have these square posts for their bumper. But what they did is they made this square opening uh, in this cross member large enough so it'll actually fit aftermarket bumpers with a circle post. So uh, that's one thing that they wanted to do. They wanted to make sure you guys had options right out of the gate and you have the option to mount up uh, other bumpers that are, are already existing on the market. Now what probably caught your eye next are these frame rails right here. And these are really nice press bent uh, formed frame rails here. These are steel. Uh, I believe they're 1.5 millimeter thick and uh, it just has a ultra sturdy feel to it. I don't think there's any flex whatsoever uh, in this, uh, this frame system here, but it looks really nice. As you can see, it just wraps around. It's got all these intricate angles on there all the way out to the back. Uh, really nice looking frame setup on here. So next up is this servo, just chilling out here in the middle of the shock uh, mounts. Uh, this is a new servo for Traxxas. It's a waterproof servo, a high torque servo, and uh, its purpose here is just to wrench on these wheels to make sure that you get the steering you want out of here. Down here we have some massive links with some beefy end links here and these just solid looking rods. I mean, just a really nice setup right out of the gate there. And uh, of course, it'll go down to the portal axle uh, steering knuckle here. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Let me back up over to here. So we've got an adjustable body mount up top. And as you can see here, we've got these large shock mounts. Uh, and then we have the Traxxas GTS shocks here. Uh, these are aluminum body shock, oil filled. And of course, we could adjust the preload on the spring here with these collars. And let me just jump over to the back side now because we pretty much just have the same thing back here. We've got the GTS shocks here. And as you can see, we've got these nice solid uh, shock mounts up top and here is the rear body mount so you can see it's got this tall body mount back here for the defender body and uh, it does give you that optional mount if you do go and install an aftermarket lower body back there but again you could uh, install aftermarket bumpers on the rear of this because of that uh, uh, post and square uh, setup here now let's work our way back from the front again so we've got the Traxxas Titan 21 turn 550 size motor here that's going to give this rig a lot of power and without pulling uh, these covers off here there is a slipper clutch down in here a uh, dual padded slipper clutch uh, the motor actually keys into a plate and there's a, a this top cover that locks the motor in place so Pretty interesting. To, it's rather easy to pull it apart. You actually just got to pull these three screws off and you can get the motor out uh, pretty quickly. Here's that XL5 speed controller. Now, what's the deal with the XL5? It looks like a regular XL5, right? This has actually been reprogrammed. It does have trail modes in it now. So it has five modes in total. It has sport, race, training, trail, or crawl. So that's pretty interesting. And you can go and use the touch button there to change the programming on it. And then right behind it here is the shift servo. Uh, and this changes the transmission from a high to low gear ratio, depending on what you're tackling out there in the wide open. Here's that rock rail there. It's mounted to like a faux floor pan. Let's say that three times fast. And same thing over here. So we got the rock rail, we've got a floor pan here. And right on top of this floor pan is uh, the receiver box here. And as you can see, it's a Traxxas style receiver box and it's got their waterproofing method here. So it's got this this extra cap that crushes down on the wires. There's some foam in there and some grease to help keep the water out. So Traxxas does a great job there of trying to keep everything water resistant. And then over here, you're gonna notice these two extra servos. 
These are your locker servos. So we've got a servo for the front locker, servo for the back locker. And as you can see, it's got these little uh, almost bike cable like wires running down to the front and rear axles here. And those are for your lockers. You can see the wire running down in there. So while I'm under here, we've got the center skid that the transmission mounts to. And then we've got a three link setup here with a pan hard bar up front. There's the pan hard bar down in there. And uh, so there's the three link there. And then in the back, we have the triangulated four link. Uh, so that is uh, really nice to see. That's what a lot of guys prefer setup wise. And as you can see, we have the offset drive shaft at the front and then the centered telescoping shaft out to the rear here. And uh, let's take a closer look at these portal axles now. So this is the rear portal axle. And as you can see, this is what gives the truck the ground clearance that everybody is talking about. You can see the height here. See how much ground clearance you have and that's all because of this portal axle style setup where there is a gear that transfers to another gear and then out to the axle so it gives uh, you much more height when you're out on the trail and you clear a lot of obstacles and the same holds true for the front much similar setup up here um, except for a, a lockout style end we've got the steering knuckles here and as you can see inside it's already got a universal drive shaft and it has ball bearings to support the axles and pretty much the entire transmission rides on ball bearings as you would expect. Uh, and here's that front steering link there. So we've got the direct steering link set up. Now moving back up to the top, one thing I forgot to talk about is the battery setup here. So we've got what looks like your standard battery setup here. You drop your battery in and Traxxas even does their thing where they have the 23 millimeter height or you flip this thing around and you have the 26 millimeter height for the, the style of battery that you have. One I want to talk about is this little gully in here, this little drop down. You could actually use Traxxas' smaller LiPo packs with an optional Velcro strap and you could drop a lower profile battery in here, the small low profile battery. And finally, the last little detail that I want to talk about are these are simply these little wire clips right here. I mean, I think it's just really neat that they went the extra mile and put on these little clips here to help secure your wires. Make sure they don't get knocked around while you're out driving. Traxxas did a neat job. They looked at all the details here, and I think they really nailed it with this truck. And there's a lot of people out there that are enjoying them already, and I can't wait to get this thing out on the trail. So far, I like what I see on the Traxxas T-Rex 4. There is a lot of great options packed into this machine, and Traxxas had to go all out, and I think they really did. I mean, locking axles, high-low transmission, programmable speed controller so you have five different profile modes and then you have this awesome looking defender body on here licensed defender body uh, and i'm actually going to defend this body because i heard a lot of people talk about well it's top heavy well guess what if you take some of your lexan bodies that you're using out there and you go and add all those steel cages to it and all the accessories on there it gets really heavy too probably just as heavy as this plastic cage on here I know the wheel wells add some weight to it, but it also adds to the look of this machine. It looks awesome on all angles here. So I'm really excited to try it out. Oh, one more thing that I do want to talk about that I didn't mention over on the workbench is the Canyon tires. They have a great look to them and they have a great feel to them. I've seen them in action. It looks like they're going to work really well from uh, what I saw, but I'm going to test it out myself. The wheels are not beadlock wheels. This is a glue on tire, but again, it looks like it's all going to work really well. So I'm excited to see what it does on the trails. And to do that, I'm gonna throw in this 3S LiPo battery that tracks the scent. Yep, they sent a 3S. So they are the fastest name in radio control. I guess they want me to see how fast this thing goes. And uh, from what I did see, it does haul. So it's gotta be a lot of fun testing this thing. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button because we got the test coming up very soon and I'm sure you're gonna to wanna to see it. Also hit the notifications button, throw me a like, and if you got a comment or question about the vehicle, throw it in the section below.